All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but under here, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to see it. But right up there, right up there, you have a bracket that is broken that holds that heat shield. And that's what we're gonna be replacing here shortly. Welcome back to the channel, and as you can see, we are back in the garage working on the Nissan Xterra. Fortunately for this time, it is a very minor issue with a very easy solution. I've had this rattle coming from underneath the truck now, probably going on two years, and for about the last year, I've had the part to replace it. I just have been slack and really just haven't had the time to get under there to do it, but today, I have found the time, so we are going to fix this problem permanently. And what we're gonna be using today to fix this problem it's simple clamps that you can find in a bath or plumbing section in Home Depot or Lowe's. Now these are stainless steel and all that you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver to tighten them down to spec. So let's go ahead, jump under the truck, take off the old clamp and install the new one and take it for a test drive. Alright guys, so we're under the truck here and this is the little clamp. As you can hear, uh, it gets pretty crazy and loud. And as you can see here, let me get out of the way. As you can see here, this one's broken. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just slide this one off. We're gonna look at the diameter of this one. Take our new one, basically, um, also have a Sharpie pen, and I'm just gonna mark on the circle, basically as uh, tight as we need to get it. And then we'll put it down there, tighten it uh, to where that one should have been and then cut off any excess and uh, start it up, take it for a test drive and make sure that we've gotten rid of our rattle. All right guys, so what I just did is I tightened this down to basically fit uh, the same diameter as what that one would have been new. And then I just took a Sharpie and then lined it right there so I know where I'm gonna need to stop. So we're gonna go under there, go ahead and put this one on and then take it for a test drive. All right, so the new clamp has been put on. I'm just gonna leave this a little bit of excess for now. I wanna go take it uh, out for a spin just to make sure that this has stopped the rattle. Um, and then once we get back, I'll go ahead and cut off this excess because uh, you know you wouldn't want this to then become your new rattle, even though it doesn't seem like it'd move very much um, with the vibrations with this sometimes. I don't know, just better safe than sorry, I guess in the end to go ahead and take this off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take it on a test drive now with the new clamp and see how it does. All right guys, so we've been driving around the neighborhood and I've also taken the Xterra to a couple places that had some pretty bumpy roads just to jolt the body a little bit uh, to see if that might uh, cause the new clamp to possibly dislodge or to loosen up at all. And then also trying to get it up to operate in temperature, uh, which we are at. And so far so good. The few times that I've had to stop, I have not heard anything. We are almost back to the house, so we're gonna go ahead and park it and just let it idle for a second and see if we hear anything. Tell you what, it's pretty buttery smooth. I don't hear anything from the cabin, so let's uh, hop outside and see if we can hear anything. All right, so this was our problem area right over here. There's the clamp. Seems nice and snug. Uh, that heat shield is not rattling anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a win. And there you go, guys. If you're looking for a quick and easy fix to a rattle such as a heat shield, go no farther than your plumbing section at your local hardware store and they'll hook you right up. 
All right, guys, so another successful job done here on the Xterra. We are gonna be doing some other, we'll say silencing modifications coming up. If you like this video, if you found it to be helpful, go ahead and give it a like, share it with your friends. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching.